I got this weird shadow, but it's probably my hat. Did you see my hat? What's it say? Oh my god, that's... It's sweet. embroidered. That's sweet. <laughs> I had it embroidered. It was, uh, it was only 11 bucks. Wow, really? But here, it looks actually... Well, you gotta see my ugly hair here, but look, see. Well, you can't see the green because it's uh, chromed out. And then I got the shirt with it. Woohoo! <laughs> That is so cool. I was oh. like, oh, I found this discount. I'm like, oh, let's try this out. That's right. <laughs> and the embroidery actually came out really good. And then this one, your granddaughter did a good job there. So it looks really good. You know. Yeah, there you go. So now I'm official. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. <laughs> so this was our St. Patrick's Day pick. Uh, it's called Maniac Cop for 1988, and it's basically about a killer police, uh, somebody who's killing somebody in a police uniform, and he's just in, randomly killing people. It seems like why I, I look like I'm like holy random, here. Random is the <laughs> random is the key to this film, right? Yes. I, I well, mean, <laughs> it had a plot, but it was just a really stupid. Yeah, it was really simplistic, <laughs> and. Yeah, I hate to say anything, but, but there was something about it that, uh, did we ever decide if he was alive or dead? <laughs> right? Well, it, I didn't, they never said, I didn't they said he wasn't breathing, <laughs> but he could have been holding his breath. If I was, uh, stabbing somebody, I might be holding my breath, I guess. No, no, I mean, <laughs> about all the times that he was hit in the head and, and. I think uh, they were trying to do a Jason or Freddy Krueger type of deal here. Where, right, right. But it wasn't really working. But it wasn't. You know the uh the, show the uh, hand yeah yeah the, yeah but you know what that hand changed all the time i might add <laughs> like was he killed in the shower that's what i was thinking he must have been killed in that shower yeah right and then or not they should have made that more clear i do like that one actor the guy with the mustache I, he was in a lot of movies in the 80s Atkins. yes yes yeah yeah he, he's amazing he's tom atkins he, tom atkins is, is like uh it, 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 that you know, it, he can't drown because uh, <laughs> he doesn't get wet. Water gets him. Exactly. That kind yeah. of guy, you know, I mean. And you can't go wrong with Richard Roundtree. I mean, he's usually good, but this one, mm, I don't know. Yeah, Same thing with Bruce Campbell. Why was Bruce Campbell even part of this? Yeah, like, but, <laughs> you know, the thing the thing about Bruce Campbell is, is, is Bruce Campbell, Bruce Campbell doesn't play that uh it's when he stops and talks that it becomes a problem <laughs> yeah you're right the way he delivers lines is is interesting um. it's, uh, it's wooden <laughs> it, 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 it's funny because i i had that feeling that atkins was moving in amongst uh, a high school play right you know oh yeah because yeah. Even, even richard roundtree was like not delivering it you know what i'm saying i mean I uh, phone t t y you've heard of the phrase phoning it in. I mean, most <laughs> of these guys seem to be texting it in. <laughs> well, this is before anybody had cell phones. Well, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> texting it in before cell phones, right? That's, they were, that's the problem right there. You know, that's what the problem is. They were telegramming it. I don't know. Yeah. Telegram. Uh, <laughs> it was very marginal. I thought like, I didn't think it was anything exciting about it. Uh, I can see, but some people seem to like it. In fact, I was shocked when I was, I, I had, that, I didn't know anything about this movie. I was like, okay, it looks interesting. And it's St. Patrick's Day kind of related. Um, but <laughs> they actually made three of these. One yeah, in 88, I, 90, 93. And then guess what? I even found one that's in development. <laughs> yeah. It's, there's one in development and they, and they're trying to make a TV series out of it. Well, that might be interesting if they right. had the right writer, I guess. This kind of seemed like, uh, I mean, just your basic 80s movie. But what I, one thing I did like about this is that they tried to combine sci-fi, horror, and action, kind of like The Hidden. But right. it didn't hit yeah. like The Hidden does. It, 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 didn't, it, it, it didn't all coalesce. Um, and I think that was just because of the production design on The Hidden, obviously. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I couldn't say it without laughing. <laughs> no, 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 seriously. Uh, the Hidden is an awesome movie, but this is kind of around that same time. This is 1988, so right. 88. So this is probably a couple of years off of the a couple of years after the Hidden. So you're yeah. contemporary here, and it's a, uh, it's like a B movie. It's not even see, a B movie. I just, I just have a problem. Is I don't know what he is. I don't know if he's a. They didn't because, explain it. 
yeah, they didn't explain it. it and the thing is, is uh, you need an origin story that they should have explained why. Well, supposedly the whole you know being well, they cheated, explained a little bit when he was talking to that lady by the system and all the rest of that. Yeah, but uh, well, that lady tried to stop. She's like, "Why are you doing this to all the innocent people? You yeah, wanted to get the yeah, certain." Yeah, I know. It's it, it, it's it's yeah yeah it's it's. It is the king of vague. <laughs> Very vague. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I yeah missed why it when did it they came keep out. making them? I don't get that. Why? Why are there so many of them? I, it's kind of like those sleepaway camp ones. I'm like, I didn't understand why they made, like, why they even made one of those. Um, there's not really any p- plot to this one. Really, it's just a slasher movie. It's like it's like somebody just wanted to make a slasher movie and Bruce Campbell just happened to be available for it. Yeah, happened to be <laughs> happened to be there and Atkins and 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 Atkins unfortunately he was driving by. <laughs> he needed a he he had grandkids probably and he's yeah, like he was oh, driving by he was driving by in a 1980 Monte Carlo. And, Christmas uh, was coming up. Yeah, <laughs> right. He had to exactly. buy his grandkids gifts. Baby needs new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> they should have made this like a, a film noir. I think that if they would have shot this in black and white and did more like a film noir type of oh, deal, yeah. that would oh, be yeah. amazing. Well, you know, I there were a couple of things that I liked about it. I, I that I liked about it in the beginning. I, I liked the misdirection, the misdirection to uh, Bruce Campbell, right? Yeah, where you um, think he's the bad guy. Yeah, yes. where, where you think he's the bad guy, and, and that that felt true, and especially in the in the thing is where we're not looking at his face, right? Yeah, I and I think that they could have kept that up for a while longer and not so gotten into the uh, other well, character. Spoiler alert. Well, so <laughs> when they spoiler uh, alert, come on. <laughs> 1988. Oh, oh, since 1988. Okay. That's a movie nobody cares about. Uh, yeah, too no, soon. Um, too they soon. They could have carried that farther. Like so, you know, when they when his wife caught him in the hotel, mm-hmm. they could have made it look like he did, he killed his wife for a while because it was obvious. I mean, obviously he didn't, but I mean, it's like they could have made it look like he did it somehow. Right. I mean, right. A little bit more, like you said, misdirection to make confuse the audience and make it actually somewhat interesting well, maybe? No, uh, the red mi- herring misdirection is where we confuse the audience <laughs> but we don't confuse the audience see what right. i'm saying well you confuse them temporarily yeah right thinking like it's like watching a columbo where you think okay it's the the nanny did it and then you yes. find out later <laughs> oh it's it's got to be this other guy <laughs> just as you're just as somebody's walking down I was one, you know. By the way, I was one wondering. more thing. <laughs> well, actually, Club was a bad example because usually, all the episodes I've seen, it's pretty obvious who that killer is. Yeah, well, that's yeah, <laughs> like yeah. sometimes they even show the killer. <laughs> that's that's eighties, eighties, eighties and ninety, eighties and seventies writing. You know? Well, I mean, yeah, but Murder She Wrote. I mean, that was that's. That's better than Columbo, but I, I do like Columbo a lot. <laughs> Columbo, Columbo was just a. It, and by the way, uh, there's a new season of uh, of uh, Columbo, uh, and it's called Poker Face. Oh, really? Have you seen Co- Poker Face? No. Poker Face is the continuation of Columbo. Trust me. Trust wow. me. You don't know what I'm saying right well, who's now. Who's playing Columbo? <laughs> what? Who's who's playing the part? Oh, you just have to watch a couple of episodes and and, and you'll go, oh, I see what he's talking about. Yeah, if if uh, Columbo were played by a curly hair check, <laughs> curly hair check, curly hair check. Because the person I picture is playing Columbo is that guy that's in. Uh, oh God, what's his name? James Franco. Yes, yeah, I can I see James. Say James. Yeah, but. The... <laughs> or do you know who else would be interesting? Would be uh, Bill Skarsgård. Uh, yeah, no, I can, I can see that. I can see that, but let me tell you something. He could do anything. He could do Santa Claus. Wait, wait a minute. You know, as long as we're getting into this. As long as we're getting into this. So I guess we're this. kind of done talking about Maniac Cop. Yeah. Well, wait, well this wait, director wait. did nothing else, but there's one movie by him I want to check out. It's called Maniac, and it's 2012. And I was like, yeah. that actually looks kind of interesting. So, But he, this there's really nothing to speak of from this director, really, Willem Lustig. Mm-hmm. He wasn't that uh, productive, I don't think. Prolific. I mean, he's still doing stuff, looks like. But, yeah, he's mostly producing now, looks like. Some people need to do that. 
And he had re- there was a movie called Relentless that came out in '89. I think I vaguely remember that one. But anyway, so I don't know. I think I well I would rate Maniac Cop probably a two. Two point one. <laughs> two point one. Two point one. I. That's me being generous. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I thought it was really marginal, and then it kind of, the longer it went on, the more boring I was, more bored I was. You know, the, the thing is, bored. is uh, you know how there there are times when I watch a picture fast, uh, just just to catch, you know, just to, just because it's boring me. And this one, it was more like. Um, I didn't want to be bored fast. <laughs> I actually, I actually watched it in real time. Well, I watched it the first time in real time. That was like a while ago. And then we rescheduled, and I was like, "Oh, I don't remember anything about it." So I watched it in, in double time, <laughs> just to kind of refresh myself. Yeah. And that was actually a lot better in half in double time, like half the time. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? I've noticed. I this, know this is going to be sound strange, but almost any uh, pre '80s film. Uh, can be improved by watching it at one and a half speed, you know. Okay. Because because it's not so far out that the voices are really and those are really out. slow paced generally. Yeah, and it and it kind of like gets around that slow pacing thing. But that's one thing I like about Halloween, which we've disagreed on before. But I think the pacing on that movie is perfect. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Once you get into the. Uh, ah! Ah! Sorry. And then. Oh, uh, oh, excuse me. And then, ah! Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm. So Natasha Leone. Did I scare you? <laughs> yes. Yes, you did. <laughs> L- Natasha Leone is, really? is is your new Columbo. I could okay. She kind of has that way of that voice. I could see it. Yeah, you know, you you know, she kind of does this. You know, I yeah. She she's she's perfect. I mean, the and and the way that she is and her whole her whole thing is stolen uh, straight from Claude Dumbo. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Does she d- smoke cigars and say, "Ah, one more thing"? Yeah, no? one more. She does do that. No, she Let's does. Talk about the, her wife. The one more thing at the door. You know, uh, uh, oh, uh, okay. uh, and she does the hesitate. Uh, 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 you know that whole thing. I mean, she's got. I sort of got. You just watch it once, and you go, "Oh, hey, she plays dumb." That's right. <laughs> So you know what I'm gonna go for? I'm gonna go for a a, a, a two, because uh, I mean I, I I I cannot, you know, it's it's really uh, until I started until it was okay until I started seeing people people's faces. And I was like, oh, <laughs> like uh, Bruce Campbell with the yeah, same like haircut Campbell. that he always has. Yeah, this Bruce Campbell was like, oh, oh, and that wouldn't. Yeah, you know, the thing is, is it's it's not like Bruce Campbell was the only one. Um, sporting wood it's just he was the only one sporting wood on his face <laughs> well one thing that always bothered me about him was that he always look, looks like just your straight edge preppy guy and uh, yeah. he never changes that look but you can the stuff that comes out of his brain is crazy so yeah I'm just saying. yeah well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, he was good in evil dead like evil dead 2 oh, i love movies. him look evil dead 2 <laughs> Two, one, two, and three. I mean, I, they're just uh, brilliant. And the thing is, is they couldn't have been the same uh, without him, you know. Uh, but at the same time, every other performance that he's done, I just have problems, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. we yeah. don't really recommend yeah. this one that much. There you obviously. go. So, so I think that in the end. But we should watch all three of them. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't have to happen. I, I've only got so many years left. Well, I'm looking forward to next week when we talk about um, the Guillermo del Toro series. Ah. I, I missed when it came out, but I was like, I gotta check this out. Okay. Because well, I saw clips of Pinocchio. And I'm like, oh yeah, there wasn't there some like series that was like Twilight Zone. And I'm like, oh yeah, we should do that one. <laughs> well, let's go get to it. All right, I gotta go watch it. <laughs>